season four just might be the end of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and it might just fully kill off the game at this point. So season four really isn't looking good for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, unfortunately, which I know is going to be very disappointing to not only myself, but a lot of you guys watching my videos as well. But quickly before we get into why it's going to be the end of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on and do smash a thumbs up on the video as it helps me out way more than you can ever imagine. And let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below because I'd love to hear your opinions. I love hearing what you guys think about all the news and stuff that we do get. So please do go to the comment section and let me know your thoughts. But the reason that I believe this might end up being the end of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and it might just kill off zombies for the rest of Modern Warfare 3 until Black Ops 6 does roll around is simply because if we take a look at the roadmap for Season 4 on screen, right now we can see there's a whole bunch of content new weapons new modes new multiplayer maps new warzone things and we get to the zombie section and we have got one single thing and as you can see, the only thing we are getting for Modern Warfare 3 Season 4 for Zombies is going to be the Unstable Rift. And not only is this the only thing we're getting, it's still not coming out until mid-season. So as we know, with all the other updates we've had for Zombies, they have all been mid-season, but it hasn't been too bad because we end up getting a lot of content when that does roll around. New Dark Aether Zones, new story missions, new schematics to go ahead and unlock, new weapons to use, and all of this fun stuff. And this time around, we are only getting the Unstable Rift. However, this Unstable Rift, a lot of people are speculating, might be a round-based game mode in Zombies, but we're not too sure how it's going to work. I'm hearing a lot of people saying it's going to be a one-time use. So if you're not the first person to get to this Rift in-game, you're not going to be able to use it for that game you're gonna have to go out of that lobby go into another one try and get there first and if you can't apparently you just need to keep being the first one there to actually play this new unstable rift which might be the case it might not be the case we are gonna have to wait and see because obviously in every single game any team can enter the dark aether zone it's not one specific team or one team only any team and any amount of teams can enter that dark aether zone so hopefully it does play like this but i'm very very interested to see how this new unstable rift does play out and if it even is the round based mode that everybody is thinking it's going to be I'm seriously hoping it is the round-based game mode because if it's the only thing that we're getting in this season, it needs to be round-based and it needs to be good. If it's not good and it's not round-based, I think this genuinely might just put a lot of people off of playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies from this point onwards. They might start going back and playing older Call of Duty Zombies like Cold War, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, etc. People might just start going back and playing different Zombies games from this point onwards if this unstable rift is very disappointing. Because at this point round, everyone's going to have to wait maybe another month or so for the Season 5 Reloaded update to come around for the next piece of Zombies content, if we even get any more Zombies content in that Season update. And at that point, we're going to be about a month or two away from Black Ops 6 coming out, and that's when the game is pretty much dead anyway. Not that many people are playing, not that many people are interested in it, because the new game's just around the corner. So why are you going to be carrying on grinding the old game when all that progress you're making is going to be lost in a month or two's time anyway? So they really need to nail this Unstable Rift and just make it absolutely insane and really really fun because as i mentioned if they don't i genuinely believe a lot of people are going to go away and just stop playing zombies at this point onwards because and most people have already got all the schematics unlocked most people can take on tier three in the dark aether zones pretty comfortably so the only thing that's going to be new and different in zombies is of course the addition of all the new weapons and the aftermarket parts we know for about six out of the eight weeks of the season we should be getting aftermarket parts which we can take into the game so that's going to give us six aftermarket parts that we're going to be able to use and try in zombies as well as the four new weapons that are coming in the season as well first of all we have got the car 98k we've then got the superior 46 which I believe is going to be the STG44 returning. We've then got the Spaz12 coming in the Season 4 Reloaded update. And then we have got the Sledgehammer Melee coming along with the Spaz12 in that mid-season update. So realistically for zombies and what we've been used to so far, we really just don't have much content coming for it. And I don't know if this is because Treyarch has fully just abandoned the zombies at this point because of course their main focus is Black Ops 6. And it has been for a while now. We know that Activision have sort of just picked up the pieces on zombies and they've been doing what they can whilst Treyarch are now focusing on the Black Ops 6 zombies. So they have been giving us a decent bit of content, but I don't know if at this point they've just completely given up. Because if we take a look at the roadmap once again, we've got a lot of Warzone content. We've got a brand new mode, we've got new features, Features. we've got new ranked play stuff we've got qualifiers for the world series of warzone you look at multiplayer we've got some new maps in coming in the mid season and the start of the season we've got new game modes coming which is very rare we don't normally see a lot of new game modes coming we've got new game modes we've got new rank play rewards alongside our season refresh they've got new perks new kill streaks you look at the weapons and operators you've got a lot of cool events you've got some collabs you've got some vehicle skins you've got quite a lot of stuff that is coming out in season four which for them is going to obviously keep the game alive and you know the majority of people probably do play wars on a multiplayer but for a lot of you guys that watch a lot of my videos you probably only really play zombies just like me i've not really been playing many other game modes recently so 
if that's the case for us and that's all we're getting for zombies i really don't know how it is going to play out this season i don't know what the player count's going to look like for zombies i'm sort of hoping the zombies community just stick by it you know just carry on playing the game and continue to enjoy the content that i'm going to be posting as well but like I said, if the Unstable Rift isn't any good and it's not round based or anything like that and it's just not that fun and any different to the Dark Aether Zones, I really don't see a reason for people to carry on playing. I think they are majority just going to give up on Zombies for Modern Warfare 3 at that point and just leave it and just go, you know what, I'm going to leave now. I'm just going to go and play some old games and just wait for Black Ops 6 to come around. Which I hope isn't the case, but there is a very, very good chance that it could be the case. I'm trying to look at the positives. We are actually getting some sort of new Zombies content. Okay, it's not as much as we were used to. There's no new schematics. There's no new Dark Aether Zone. There's no new story mission. But we have got an unstable rift. So I'm interested to see how it does play out. I am very interested if it actually is round based. I'm interested to see what it's going to be like. How you access it and all of this sort of stuff. And I'm sure there'll be a little Easter egg that you actually have to do to go ahead and unlock it. So we'll see how that does play out. I am still very, very interested to see how it does play. And of course, we've got all the new aftermarket parts and weapons to be able to use in the game as well. So we can take those into zombies, pack a punch them, see if any of them have got any secret attachments or any secret perks for pack a punch them or anything like that, as well as just seeing if they are any good within the game. So there is still a bit of zombies content. You know, it should still be enough until season five comes around. And then when season five comes around, of course, we will get that roadmap for season five and that will let us know what they are doing with zombies. If the season five roadmap comes out and there is just basically no zombies content, there's maybe one or two things that are just very standard, very copy paste at this point, then I really don't know how zombies is going to play out. And I don't know if zombies is going to continue to live its lifespan on Modern Warfare 3. But like I said at the start of today's video, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments below. What do you think the Unstable Rift's going to be? How do you hope it plays out? Do you hope it's ranked play? Are you excited for the new guns to at least come out as well as the aftermarket parts? Or for you, is this just not good enough? Is it just going to really put you off playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And also let me know if you're going to just stick by it for Season 4 and just hope for Season 5 to have some actual Zombies content. And then if Season 5 doesn't have Zombies content, what are you going to do? Are you just going to completely walk away from the game or are you just going to try and stick it out until Black Ops 6 does roll around? Would really, really love to hear your thoughts on it all in the comments below. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please be sure to smash a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you miss any more videos on the channel. We've got a lot of Black Ops 6 news coming out now, so make sure you are subscribed with notice turned on. So you don't miss any of the videos I'm going to be posting around that. I'm going to carry on posting my normal Zombies content. And if Zombies does end up dying, I might jump into multiplayer or Warzone to make a piece of content there as well. But once again, I appreciate all of you guys that do watch all of my videos. And you do stick around to the end because you guys are the absolute goats. So thank you for anyone that has stayed all the way to the end. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will catch you all in the next one in a bit. Peace.